In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a list of users with password never expires. So if you come into account, uh, go to the account tab, and under account options, uh, there's password never expires. So you, we can use PowerShell, and we can use the AD Pro Toolkit to find all the accounts in your domain that have this option set. So in PowerShell, uh, and I'll paste this uh, command in the notes so you can just copy and paste it, but we're gonna use get AD user, and then we're gonna filter for all users, and then we're gonna grab a couple of user properties, and then we're gonna filter for uh, where the password expires is equal to true. And then we're just gonna uh, use the select command there to get a couple of user, uh, to, to display only some specific user fields. So I'll run this and you can see here uh, the distinguished name, the username and the uh, account status, but this is a list of all the accounts in my domain that have the password set to never expire. So we'll come into, let's see, Copeland, we'll just verify it under management. So I'm gonna look at Willie Hodges, that's one of the accounts the PowerShell listed, and you can see it's set to never expires. So that's PowerShell. Uh, we can also do this with the AD Pro Toolkit. Just come into user reports, and then under password status, click on users with a password set to never expire and run this on the entire domain, just leave it as default and click run. And it goes out and grabs all of the accounts. And it see, you can see it's got a column that says password never expire, set to true, and it shows the status. So that is a list of all the accounts from here. You can do an export, export it to a CSV, PDF, Excel file. Uh, you can also hit columns, and you can add or remove additional user columns. So that's it. Um, I recommend you to run this. It's not a good security practice to have accounts set to never expire. Um, and this is just a quick way with PowerShell and the Pro Toolkit to find those accounts. That's it. Thanks for watching.